Well, hey Libra, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I am Yasmin. If you are new, hello, please like and subscribe. All right, so this is going to be your love reading, Libra. And of course, you know, if I see something and I can't help but to say it as far as anything else with money and finances, I will let you know. But I've done that reading this week, so this is going to be your love reading. This is going to be for Libra. Libra, there's someone here that wants to take action with the King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Or you can have that in your chart. I feel like someone is thinking that there's some unfinished business. Things are going to start going, you know, your way. I feel like in general, you've been waiting for things to start moving and it has not been moving. So let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Exactly. Speaking of which, right, things haven't been moving. I think it goes this way with the hangman. So I love the fact that we saw the um, King of Wands. King of Wands is this person takes action. That's what they do. Hmm. Eight of Cups. You don't like the fact that you're waiting for things to actually happen to occur. You don't like it. I feel like you've sacrificed a lot. Part of you feel like a sacrificial lamb, right? You see everyone else having fun and living their life and all of that. And you just feel neglected by the universe here. You know, um, it's almost like an urgent matter to you. Um, a red cape and the red pants represent like, please hurry up. Please something happen. And I feel like someone does have this desire to make something happen. Like I said, with that King of Wands. Oh, yes. Here with the Ace of Cups. So in, in time, it's so weird because, you know, you kind of hear it's worth the wait with this one. You know, it's like here with the Eight of Cups, it's like, oh, I've been waiting and I've just been feeling unfulfilled and there's been this stagnation and then love, boom, here with the Ace of Cups is coming in here. And you may have more than one person that wants your attention. That's just the truth of the matter. Um, some of you may be in love with someone right now who could be dealing with other people, okay? Maybe you feel like you have to fight for your love or maybe someone feels like they have to fight for you. And this is what I was saying in general when it comes down to the competition, that there, there could be more than one person who wants your attention or uh, something like that. I do feel though that there's going to be a new love that's going to come in, but there's going to be someone that you know or that you're familiar with that's going to come in right when this new love begin. That's what I'm saying here. Yeah, someone's still holding on to something. Two of Pentacles. What's up with the juggling? You're waiting for this love. I feel like it's just certain someone in particular that you're waiting for. Can I just tell you? I just feel like it's someone that you've been waiting for. And this is going to be a good thing for you to um, have emotional balance. You know, I feel like you have been off balance here with the Two of Pentacles. You know, you've, you've been wanting something for so long or you've been waiting for things to happen. And it has caused a lot of sadness. It has pulled a lot from your energy. You know, you've been holding it very close to you. You know, it's, it's heavy on your heart. It's heavy on your mind. You know, and then again, with the three of wands, you've just been waiting, waiting. And for some of you, you don't even, it's not even someone from the past. It's not even anyone that's in mind. You're just like, I just want love to come in. I'm waiting for love to come in. That's what you're doing. That's what you're saying here. And again, with the temperance card. So it has been a, a wait. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you, you're going to have two different people coming in here. You see it. I see it. It's pretty obvious what this is about. Um, but I think the thing is with you, you've been waiting for so long. You're tired. Okay. And there's this inner conflict. Maybe it's about you talking to someone or maybe about someone coming to talk to you. Okay. Um, and again, like I said, the two of pentacles and the temperance card is like, this is love. You got, there's something within yourself. You got to figure out too, even within yourself before someone comes in, because there is going to be a serious relationship coming into your area. Let me see what else I can get. Yeah. A lot of sadness here. And then look at, they got two cards. This is Pisces. 
energy, right? So you got two cards that talks about the unknown. This is another part of your energy that makes it scary because it's like, I just don't know. I don't know, universe. When is it going to happen? When, you know, what, what's what's going on? You know, it's the hidden things. And that's what's causing a lot of sadness. And it's very emotional time for you is what I'm saying. So let's go ahead. Let's clarify these cards. Let's see what we have for you here, Libra. We're going to start with that hangman here for you. I'm going to start with the hangman. This is going to be for Libra. Do I have? Give me one second, Libra. All right, Libra, let's go ahead. Let's clarify that hangman. There's been a lot of thinking. Look at what came out. We got the hermit that came out. And we also had the queen of wands and the five of cups. So listen, you know, I mean, this is pretty obvious that because you know you've been waiting for someone maybe to contact you someone that you consider to be you know your sweetheart you can't stop thinking about them and i also feel that this is someone else's energy as well i just don't feel like this is just your energy because i do feel someone is coming back in here um but the hermit card to me is someone needs to find their inner light okay so if things are not happening maybe the universe is delaying us or it's delayed because someone doesn't know themselves now it may not be you it could be your person maybe your person don't know themselves maybe they need to find themselves and this is the reason why there's been so much conflict but i do see regret okay that's very much so here in your reading with someone at least someone has some regrets Let's go ahead, let's get this um, Eight of Cups here for Libra, Eight of Cups. Yeah, look at this, a lot of heartbreak here with the Three of Swords. Mm, yeah, I feel like it was another person. Got two Two of Pentacles, someone was juggling. And this is what I was saying before. It looks like someone was needing to find themselves because because it, that someone was just all over the place and it caused you to be, you know, a, a, a emotional wreck, okay? And I feel like you have been an emotional wreck. That's what I feel. And like I said, we saw the King of Wands. King of Wands always represents a new person and then the Ace of Cups came out, so it makes sense. You're just going to move on and you're trying to, is what I see. Like I said before, Ace of Wands, please, Libra. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. So you have the Temperance card. And again, why is this here? Because you don't know when this new love is coming in. I feel like you're, you're overthinking things. It's not as bad as you think. You are going to get some type of communication. Someone is going to want to see you. But, you know, uh, there's so much waiting here. That means you have waited for so long, maybe years for this person. It's a lot of threes here. So maybe three years you waited for this person or you've been waiting. And that's what's causing the heartbreak. Or for those who doesn't, they, you, you don't have anyone in mind, you've just been waiting in general. And it's just now you're just tired. Yeah, you're tired. Some of you could be in a long-term committed relationship and there's a lot of fighting here. Mm-hmm. Someone could have found love outside of the marriage because this high priestess is, you know, secretive, mistress energy, some type of some type of secrets that's being held inside of a family, a lot of fights. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get the four of pentacles here for Libra. So holding on to something that you really want. And it's like you refuse to let that dream go. And I feel like this is someone else. Look at this, Knight of Swords. Someone is holding on to you just as much. But there is a problem. It looks like there's interference. There's interference here of some kind. Let's get the Two of Wands. I'm sorry, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone was in a relationship. I mean, it's just obvious. Someone was in a relationship and it looks like maybe something ended. Your relationship could have ended. Um, their relationship could have ended. Wow. Someone's trying to debate or try to figure out if they want to stay inside of a relationship because of some secrets that some, that was that has come out. Someone is like, I don't know what I don't know what I should do. What should I do now? I don't know what I should do. Again, someone could be in a relationship still right now trying to figure out if they want to stay. A relationship could be at a crossroad. It could be at a, on, a, on a rocks. Three again, three of pentacles, three of wands. 
Yeah, I feel like someone is thinking about, like somebody did walk away or they will be walking away. This is, we saw the death card, so something will be ending if it hasn't already. Um, it just looks like it's just, there's no peace inside of a connection because someone wants something else and they cannot let this go. We know that nine of cups talks about a wish fulfillment and it's hitting that four of pentacles. This means that someone is really holding on to something that they want that they do not have. Let's get the temperance. Libra. Yeah, look at this. So, like I said, I really do feel like there has been some type of committed relationship mm, that's, you know, pretty much ending here. Okay, yeah, world card. That's so interesting that I thought about the world and it was at the bottom of the day. You know, it may have been very hard for someone to leave, but it looks like there is a conclusion of something. There looks like it's just a conclusion. There is a lot of fighting, a lot of fussing. Some some of you are in a committed relationship, whether you're married or not. It doesn't matter. With some type of committed relationship, you know, a long term committed relationship that just seems like it's, you know, it's not working. There are secrets, there's secret love, there's secret people. Um, you're at a crossroad needing to figure out what you want to do. But here with the full card, there is going to be a new beginning. That's what I see. We saw it even with the death card that there are some endings here. So Libra, whether uh, whether it's you in a relationship or your person, there is going to be some kind of change in your love life. OK, um, a lot of the ones who are single when you just don't know, you're just sitting back wondering what's going to happen with your love life. That fool card talks about you being able to go out there and take a risk with things that's going to be coming towards you. You've completed a cycle here with the world card and new things are going to start for you. Okay. So this is what I have for you here, Libra. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.